In this video, we're going to look at some limits as x goes to infinity. So for the first one, I'll work it out in full steps, and then for the next ones, I might take a few shortcuts, but you've already been introduced to the shortcuts in the lecture video, so hopefully you'll be able to follow those. Okay, the limit as x approaches infinity of x to the 4 plus 3x squared plus 6x to the 1 half over 3x to the 4 plus 2x to the 5 halves. Okay, so the first thing we do is we divide everything by the highest power of x. So when the limit as x goes to infinity, we divide every term on the top by x to the 4, because that's the highest power of x. So we get 3x to the squared over x to the 4 plus 6x to the half over x to the 4. And then we divide everything on the bottom by x to the 4. So we have 3x to the 4 over x to the 4 plus 2x to the 5 halves over x to the 4. Okay, and now we can simplify a little bit. So the limit as x goes to infinity, well, x to the 4 over x to the 4 is 1. 3x squared over x to the 4 is going to be 3 over x squared. 6x to the half over x to the 4 is going to be 6 over x to the 7 halves. Then in the denominator, it's going to be 3 plus well, this is going to be 2 over x to the 3 halves. As x goes to infinity, we know that 3 over x squared is going to go to 0. 6 over x to whatever is going to go to 0. And on the bottom, 2 over x to the 3 halves will also go to 0. So we're going to be left with a 1 on the top and a 3 on the bottom, so our limit is going to go to 1 third. And again, the shortcut is to take the top power, power in the numerator and top power in the denominator, and we just divide them by each other. So here, we have x to the 4 over 3x to the 4. So if we divide them, we're going to get 1 third, and that would be our limit. If we have, say, x to the 4 over 3x to the 5th, then we're going to be left with 1 over 3x, which, of course, as we go to infinity, is just equal to 0. Okay, so those are some simple shortcuts that I'll be using in the next questions. Okay, so the limit is x goes to infinity of e to the negative x plus 2 cosine 3x. Okay, so we can break this apart because of our limit laws. So this is the same thing as the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the negative x. Well, this is just 1 over e to the x. Then we add the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 times cosine of 3x. Okay, well what is the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over e to the x? Well, e to the x is very big, so this is 1 over a very big number, which will be 0. Then we have to add the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 times the cosine of 3x. Well, here we have a problem, because cosine is an oscillating function, which means it goes to 1, then it goes to negative 1, goes back to 1, negative 1, and this keeps going forever. So this doesn't actually have a limit as x goes to infinity. So 0 plus does not exist. Well, we can't take the limit as x goes to infinity of this whole function. Therefore, the entire limit does not exist as x goes to infinity. Okay, third question. We want the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 minus 2 times e to the x plus 1, or over 1 plus 3 times e to the x. Okay, so you might be thinking, wait a second, these aren't powers of x. But we know that e to the x grows very large very quickly. So we can just divide everything by e to the x. So we have the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over e to the x minus 2 e to the x over e to the x. This is all over 1 over e to the x plus 3 e to the x over e to the x. And then we can simplify again. So now we have the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over e to the x plus 2 over 1 over e to the x plus 3. And we know, of course, that 1 over e to the x 
as x goes to infinity, it will go to zero. Same with the one on the bottom. So again, we're just gonna be left with two over three. So much like the first question where we had powers of x, now we're just dealing with e to the x. So we can do the same thing. You're allowed to divide every term in the function by the same number, so or the same function. So we can take all these terms, divide them by e to the x, and we can get something a little bit simpler. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.